What is going on, everybody? See here, and welcome back to Icarus Beta Weekend number two. So, the focus of this beta, I want to start off with this. The focus of this beta is um, essentially the base building skills you learned in the first beta weekend will be put to the test as storms damage your structures and you scramble to find or build shelter. So, um, a lot of people were commenting, they're like, oh my gosh, all you're doing is base building. Like, that's that was the purpose. So, this weekend, lots of base building but surviving storms so um yeah even more stuff even more fun things so lots of base building again i know it's gonna be lots of base building base building base building base building but hopefully we're gonna have some storms in there so hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things link down below if you want to check it out and wait what we have to create a new character wait, 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 wait. i thought they said we gotta bring our characters back okay so i made uh, a new character which is weird level zero i thought they said we were gonna have our people back character selection return to character select yes i do not have another character all right well anyways apparently they had to reset all the characters for uh for reasons so we're, we're hopping in anyways i don't care it's in it's whatever it is um, I was actually kind of looking forward to like, you know, exploring some of the other tier stuff. But anyways, that's fine. Um, prospects, let's go ahead. Footfall, 21 days. Uh, Icarus continues to change in the aftermath of the UDA's terraforming failure in preparation for opening the plant to widespread uh, exotics. Prospecting the UDA requires data on the... Uh, okay, let's go. Let's do it. Yes, let's start it up. I'm ready. And before we get going any further, a huge shout out to Ridgewall for sponsoring this video. Ridgewalt has redefined the wallet. With its ultra compact frame and small form factor, it helps you keep your wallet bulged down while also giving you the protection of RFID blocking plates that protect you from digital pickpocketers. There's over 30 different colors and styles to choose from, including a burnt titanium, carbon fiber, and my personal favorite, the forged ember. It's a black and red, beautiful. Oh, it just looks so good. It looks so good. And Ridgewall is so confident that you will love your wallet that you can test drive it for 45 days. And if you don't like it at the end of the 45 days, you can send it back for a full refund. No questions asked. So head over to Ridge.com slash Z1 Gaming. That's Ridge.com slash Z1 Gaming to see how Ridge can help you step up your wallet game and use code Z1 Gaming at checkout to get 10% off and free worldwide shipping. So thanks again, Ridgewall, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. All right, we're coming in. We're coming in. Uh, huh. freeze frame. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, this is so exciting. I am ready for some more acres. So, we are going to try to scout out a nice little place to start a base. We are just going to get right on into it. Um, I'd like to be next to water again because I didn't really have to worry about water. So, if we can find some kind of lake or something, that would be most ideal. Oh, we're landing. Oh, you know what? We don't start coming super hard. That's nice of them. Oh, good luck, friends. Thank you. Is that a, a little time? Be smart. Okay. Be and come back alive. Do we have map area data unavailable? Um, okie dokie. So, <laughs> let's see. We're right here. Okay. Um, well. Let's just do, let's do some quick uh, grabbing, get some berries and, you know, basic stuff, I guess. And we'll just kind of walk around. Hopefully uh, there's got to be a lake somewhere. Probably, maybe, most likely. Is this, this isn't the same map as last weekend, was it? I don't think so. Okay, so let's see. Um, I don't know how realistic things are, but if I wanted water, I would go downhill. Right? Low level is lower the level is typically where you're gonna find water sources unless they're like, you know, dammed up or uh, you know, like a creek or a river or a, like a small pond or something like that. Oh wait, is that a river? What's that? I hear wolves. What is this area? This whole area right here is like a dry lake bed or something. Ooh, there's a wolf right there. So this looks like a dry lake bed. Okay, so let's go this way maybe. And see this way looks like I'm about to hit a dead end here. Yeah, big dead end. Big mountain. Huge mountain. All right, let's see. 
Again, I'm just trying to follow. Like, I'm gonna. I'm trying to go like downhill to see if I can see anything. I am a little worried about. <laughs> a little worried about getting eaten. Here's another nice little opening. Nice little clearing. I like it. I mean, I feel like we're kind of following the valley down. Oh, we got some wheat right here too. More berries. Uh, inventory. Let's go ahead and consume a few of those. Get that berry bonus. Okay, come on. Water, water, water. Show me water. No, not really. It looks like all these lake beds are like dried up. <laughs> oh no. What if there is no water and we're going to have to like solely craft and make like water and rain collectors and stuff? That might very well be the case here. Grab some yeast. Make some stuff. <laughs> oh, I heard a wolf over there. <laughs> Uh, we probably need to grab some auction rocks on the way too. I'm gonna keep following this valley down Because it looks like it looks like that's a valley uphill and this looks like it's kind of valley downhill like we're kind of going up and down Oh, well, never mind. It looks like we're almost hitting an end here Uh, let's go up here. Let's see what we got. Oh Hold on it looks like there's a clearing up here. You know what clearings mean? Possibly water. Because trees don't typically grow in the middle of lakes. Water, 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 water. <gasps> yes! Okay. <laughs> I knew we'd find water eventually. I bet there's probably water, like, fairly often. It's probably not, like, super rare. Oh, perfect. Oh my gosh! I want to build on the island! Oh, I want to build on that island so bad. Oh, but it's like way out there in the middle of of nowhere. Is that an island? Because, I mean, realistically, we're going to be staying here the entire time anyways. We're not going to be really going to be going out too far. So it doesn't really matter how far away I am from the, um, the place. Oh, you know what? That peninsula right there would probably be good. That island would be so much fun, though. We would just, have, we'd have to build a bridge to get over there. Oh yeah, I like this area a lot. All right, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna set up shop here. Um, Like I said, I'd like to go on the island, but I mean, that's a ways over there and we'd have to build like a, we'd have to swim and stuff like that. I'm not even worried about it. Not right now, not for, not for only a weekend, you know? So let's go ahead and let's see what we can do here. Um, Okay, tech tree. We're going to need a stone axe, a stone pickaxe. Those are already unlocked. So let's get the campfire. Fire whacker. We're going to need that probably early on. And a spear. Um, wow. Okay. Let's go ahead and craft that. Am I missing stone? What did I just make? Oh, perfect. A pick. That'll get us a bunch of stone. I forgot how slow the um, <laughs> the uh, the talent points come in. Ah, uh, darn. I don't think that's a mineable rock, which is actually okay because that's a natural defense. Okay, can we make our other tools now? So let's get a hatchet. Let's get uh, a couple spears. Let's get a fire thwacker and a little bit more stone for a campfire. There's a 105 wolf for wolf right there. Yep, I'm a, I'm aware we're gonna, we're about to fight. Okay. I don't remember what levels things were before, but I feel like a 104 is really high. Yep, and I think I oh my gosh I survived. Oh my gosh, I survived. Um, consume the stack. Holy moly, that dude said did so much damage to me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's craft that. Um, I need a skinning knife. Do we get... Of course I didn't get the skinning knife yet because we're not high enough level. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. That dude like wrecked my face. 
Okay, we need a skinny knife. All right, perfect. Uh, stone knife, bandage. I'd like to get wood beam level five required. Um, let's get oxidizer too. Cause now we know how the oxidizer works. No, oh, there's a bear. I'm dead. Are you kidding me? Where did that bear come from? <laughs> Where did the bear come from? <sighs> Any equipment resources on your character will be lost and you will occur in XP debt. No bed found. Would you like to respawn at a random location? Sure. Oh man. I was all I was right here. This is where I was. So I'm thinking maybe we don't go to the water. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, so like, what did I lose here? I mean, I only lost a little bit of XP. Um, golly. Do I really want to go back there? Like, I really, I don't think I want to go back there because the bear. So if I don't go back there, I'm going to be having an issue with water all the time. But if I do go back there, I might be having an issue with bears all the time. You know what? Let's go back. Let's look. Maybe I just won't go to the peninsula. Maybe we'll just build kind of close to the water. We can pop down there to grab stuff. Um, but we need a, we need a safe, oh my God, I can't believe the bear came out of nowhere. Like I, I, I feel like it just spawned in just for me. Look, look at this little dead area right here. This whole area is like washed out. Where am I at? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I need to be going back this way. You know what? Forget it. I'm going to go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm not even, we're not even going back to that stupid lake. All right, what well, we got down here? This area looks like it might drop into a lake. Is that water? Or is that more stone? I think it's just stone. No, there's water down there. Okay, so where am I at now? I'm looking probably at K15, maybe? Should we go down there and check that one out? How do we get down there? I guess maybe this way. So, you know what I'm going to say that I'm actually really surprised about? I am going to say that we learned how the death mechanic worked. Because I assumed when you died, you completely started over, had to create a new character, started back from zero, like trait, like skills, everything, zero. Like I thought you hard zeroed out, um, like a hardcore. But that is not the case. Is that a wolf? No, that's like a goat thing. Okay. Never been so scared of animals in my life. Um, yeah, so you don't hard zero out, which actually isn't bad. I mean, like, you lose all the stuff on you. Okay, cool. I, I can I can live with that. But yeah, you don't you don't like completely zero out um everything. That's super nice. So let's see, where is this? Oh my gosh. Like, I swear I'm like, there's gonna be, that bear came out of nowhere. I did not see it anywhere. I did not see that bear anywhere whatsoever. Okay, where is this, where does this water go? Did I, am I, is it right here? Did I miss it? Where did the water go? I don't know how I lost that water source. I was standing like right here looking down and I don't see it. And like, this is the end of the road. We can't go any further. I thought it was like right here. There it is. How did I lose that? 
Okay, I'm gonna go down this hill right here. I was probably a bad idea. Okay, so I see elk. I don't see any bear. All right. Let's go set up camp. <laughs> I want to set up camp somewhere where I'm not going to get, like, destroyed. Like, I don't see anything in here. I'm honestly thinking about setting my thing up on the water. Like, once we can make beams and stuff like that, like, setting up on these little rocks right here and building it on the water. Okay, right here is going to be our spot. This is where we're going to do the things. This is where we're going to do the stuff. Okay, cool. Can we craft anything? No, because I'm out of stone. All right, first thing we need to make is a pick. So we can get this going. So we can get more stone. Was it the bashing of the stone that, like, brought out everything? Maybe. <gasps> There's a stupid bear here. There's a bear. I don't want to play over here. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, let's move. Let's go to the other side. Let's go over here. I'm trying to stay like in areas that's open so I can see. Okay. All right. All right. This looks like a good spot. I'm looking for bear. Bears are a huge problem in this one, apparently. Or maybe just for me. I don't know. Oh, there's a wolf. Good gosh, I'm gonna die. Alright, we need to get a bed place like ASAP. Minor winds approaching. Fantastic. Okay, um. Let's do this. I think we can make shelter inside one of these stones. Oh, well, it's just minor winds. It's not that bad. Right? Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and make this. Do we have an axe now? Okay, we have an axe. So let's start chopping down some trees. Maybe my base is going to end up going right here. So I can see what the heck's going on. Storm exposure? What? Oh, apparently you can't just chill out here. It's just minor winds! Alright, here, let's hide in this thing. There. We, we have a stone hut. <laughs> I want to build a door for it. That's it. I'm done. We've done it. We've built the base. This stone is impenetrable to everything. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Uh, talents. Oh yeah, solo talents. Let's do these. So increase base health. Um, let's do increase base health. Increase base stamina. Okay. Oh look at this. We can actually clip and look through it too. It's like, hmm, what's over here? Anything? Anything trying to eat me? Nope. Perfect. Oh my gosh, there's a stupid bear here too. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm hoping it's the same bear that just makes its rounds. Okay, he's not coming this way. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go this way. <laughs> Ooh, not good, not good. Okay, that was a little close for comfort. So bears are a constant threat. I thought I heard something running. Maybe we shouldn't build build maybe we shouldn't build right there like maybe we shouldn't just build down there by the water maybe i should stay away from the water a little bit all 
Okay, yes, I'm getting dizzy because of oxygen. I feel like oxite, uh, I feel like it's a little bit less. I feel like I'm getting less by mining. But then again, I did have iron tools towards the end, so that could be why. Maybe I should just build up here. Where'd this stupid bear go? Stupid bear, leave. I hope he left because that's where I was chopping trees down. Trying to do work. Okay, I don't see stupid bear anymore. But, I mean, there's a lot of coverage in there. Where did he go? Mmm. Scary, scary, scary. Okay, um, I'd like to get a bedroll so I can respawn closer. I don't think the bear's over here anymore. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. I think we might be okay. Okay, first order of business is I'm going to start clearing out this little area. Oh my god, I thought that said large bear. I was like, are you kidding me? I want to clear this area out so that way we can see kind of what's in here. Are you stuck? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, let's get this guy skinned up. How come I feel like there's like a bear behind me? Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. Okay, that was actually perfect because he was trapped. Uh, yeah, I need to get this area cleaned up because I want to be able to see what's hiding in here. Oh, that's right. Actually, we can take the pick to this and get the bones. Okay, my water's getting low. Let's go ahead and top that off. What was that? What did I, what just happened? A head injury? What? From where? All right, whatever. We're fine. We're fine. Um, I'm gonna get. We need to get a bedroll. Crafting. Um, is it C? No. Where's? How do I craft that? Tech tree. Oh, I never unlocked it. Oh, we got three points available. Okay, we need a bedroll. And, I guess we could do some thatch stuff. That probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. All right, let's get the, uh, let's get, oh, bedroll. We don't have enough for that yet. Shoot. Uh, let's get another wooden spear or two. We're going to have to kill this wolf here. I can't believe I have a concussion. Can I use a bandage for that? Will that help a, I don't know how I even got it. I don't feel like that helped anything. Let's try to take out this wolf here. Please don't be like a level 100 something something. Oh, it's only a level 25 wolf. Okay, let's take this guy out. Perfect. Okay, quick and easy. Let's skin it. And then let's get the bones. Let's make a bedroll. Okay, we're gonna make a bedroll. I'm gonna put in this rock. <laughs> it's gonna be our safety rock. Hopefully. Uh, bedroll, craft. And we're gonna go ahead and place this. Aw, oh, darn it. Let me see if I can get in here and clear this out. Can we put it in here? Really? <laughs> darn it! I wanted it right here. <gasps> yes! 
Yes. We've got a we got a bedroll. And it's in a rock. Oh, this is wonderful. Um press F to enter red hold to set spawn point. What's in it? Let's enter a bed and let's skip time. You can only sleep between 6 p.m. and 7 a.m. What time is it? Oh, it's 7 a.m. All right, let's see. We survived today. We survived today. We survived today in our magical bedrock. <laughs> oh, okay. We are doing things here. So we have two points available. I honestly don't even know if I want to bother with thatch. Because uh, level five for this stuff anyways, level five, we get this stuff. You know what I mean? Like we're a level three already. So I'm thinking maybe we focus on getting some of this other stuff or just kind of like, you know, leveling up. I think we should just level up. And then I think we should just build wood. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to chop a bunch of wood and get a whole bunch of wood cut down and get this area cleared out so we can see what's going on, you know? Oh, I got a concussion again. <laughs> so you get a concussion from the trees falling on your head. Imagine that. Pretty sure that didn't used to happen. What? Oh. That's actually kind of funny. I like that. Good job. Good on them. Um, oh, you know what? Oxygen. I need oxygens too. Large deer? That's fine. Uh, we need oxygen, so we gotta go find some oxide. Oh, here's some. Right here, we'll just grab this. What the heck? What is that? What did I just touch? What did I what did I just touch? Contusion. Minor energy to reduce your XP gain. Counter with blood thinner, heal over time. I didn't even do anything. Okay, all right. You know what? I feel like they're making things like excessively difficult now. Like that contusion thing. I I'd walked over something. And that's going to minus 25% experience gain. Are you kidding me? That is awful. That is super annoying. And you know what? The bandage isn't going to do anything to fix that. Okay, I don't like that. That's a that is not a good that's not a good a good thing. That doesn't include, that doesn't make the game any better. <laughs> it makes it worse. It's so stupid and annoying. It's like I touched a bush. Sorry, minus 25% XP for the next three minutes. You know what? I don't want to do anything. I'm just going to go find some stone. I'm going to go find some air rocks because if I cut this stuff up, I'm just going to lose experience doing it. I don't even want to do anything for the night. You know what? It's even more than that. It's like, it was like what? 250 seconds. That's insane. All right, my my scratch healed finally. So now I can actually start getting experience again. Are you kidding me? Something touched me and my whole screen went red. I have no idea what happened. I'm scared that I just got a, a probably, you know, I got a splinter. Minus 50 XP for the next three hours. <laughs> I'm not thrilled about that contusion thing. I literally was walk. I think I walked through like a branch like right here. And that's what, that's how it happened. You know, I think they increase the XP that you get on chopping wood, too. Which is actually really nice. Are you kidding me? I brushed up against something again. I don't know what happened. I don't know what they did. I don't know what I don't know what they're trying to do here. But this walking simulation thing. It's like something brushes against your leg. Oh god, what was that? Spider attack. Oh, we got a wolfy friend. Wolfy pal! Wolfy pal! Okay. Whew! Alright, easy peasy. Took out the wolf. And we are almost, almost level 5. I'm basically going through chopping all these trees up into pieces while they're on the ground. Uh, cause I don't want to pick them up because my inventory will be completely full if I do. And this way I'll have a bunch of wood ready to, uh, ready to go for the wood building. And look how nice and clean this area is. Like, look at that. We can actually see through here now. Oh, it's so nice. 
Hey, there we hit level five finally. Awesome, awesome. Okay. So we have level five. We should be weather event incoming, of course. Uh tech tree, we should have our wooden stuff unlocked. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and uh man, we're gonna have to hide. Okay. Well, we're going to hide this storm out, and that's actually going to end this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Next episode, we're going to start building our house and uh, start dealing with more storms and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's going uh, to be a fun time. But, yes, yeah, so wood building next time and hopefully getting some, some stuff going. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for coming out. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.